Hello all. So we have started our journey into the translation of Sirupana Tripade, Minstrel's Guide. We were given an introduction to King Nalia Gordon and his kingdom of Oima. The poet also gave us an insight into the three important dynasties that ruled southern India and how King Nalia Gordon was way better than all the three put together. He also gave us brief tales about seven Samaritans generous kings who are recorded in the literary history of Sangam literature. And once again, the poet has told us that Nalia Gordon is much, much better than all seven put together. Now, we have started a journey towards Oiman Kingdom. We crossed Eir Patanam, the seashore town of Oiman Kingdom. We are moving into the next town, next important town, Velur. So, we shall begin with the poem. வேலூர் செல்லும் வழியில் எய்னர் தரும் விருந்து பைந்தனை அவரை பவழம் கோப்பவும் கருணனை காயா கனமயில் அவிழவும் கொழுங்கொடி முசுண்டை கொட்டாங்கொள்ளவும் செலுங்குலை தாக்காந்தல் கைவிரல் பூப்பவும் கொல்லை நெடுவழி கோபம் ஊறவும் முல்லை சான்ற முல்லை அம் புறவின் விடற்கால் அருவிவியன் மலை மூழ்கி சுடற்கால் மாறிய செல்வி நோக்கி திரள்வேள் நொதியின் பூத்த கேணி விரல் வேள் வேன்றி வேலூர் எய்தின் உருவெயிர் உலைய உறுப்பு அவர் குறம்பை ஈற்றவர் அட்ட இன்புழிவெஞ்சோறு தேமாமேனி சில்வளை ஆயமோடு ஆமான் சூட்டின் அமைவர பெருகு வீர் எயினர் ஃபீஸ்ட் ஆன் த வே டு வேலூர் கிரீனிஷ் பீன் ஸ்டாக்ஸ் வித் கோரல் பட்ஸ் டஸ்கி அயன் வுட் ப்ளூம் லைக் த லஸ்ட்ரஸ் நெக் ஆஃப் பீ ஃபவுல்ஸ் வித் லெதரி ப்ளூம்ஸ் திக் பைன் வித் ஸ்டோ ஆல்சோ பாம் சைஸ் கார் ஃப்ளேம் லிலி ஸ்ட்ரூன் பேக் யார்ட் ஸ்கேட்டட் வித் பிளட் ரெட் காட்ச் நீல் Neatly spread creepers of lovely thin jasmines, the cascade that falls between the cliffs where the sun sinks in, the husky dusk when you crane your neck up. Will you reach the place with the huge spear-shaped ponds that mark the name of his holy spear, Velur, a place blazing hot forever summer, ever under thatched huts, women of the dry land serve piping hot tangy white rice. Delicate like tender mango leaves with slim bangles who serve tender meats of Nilgai to ease your hunger, bear the ravenous. So we are entering the town of Velour. That's an interesting story behind the name Velour. King Nalia Gordon, when he took his throne, he started becoming very famous because of his magnanimity and generosity. Naturally, When a person becomes very famous, he will incur a lot of enemies. And Nalli Gordon too had a lot of enemies from his neighboring kingdoms. Once, many of his neighboring kingdoms' rulers joined hands together and launched a sudden attack on Nalli Gordon's Oiman. Unable to bear the sudden attack, Nalli Gordon had to flee. He took refuge under hiding and he was waiting for a chance to retaliate. But Nalia Kodan was more concerned about the subjects because he was very generous, magnanimous. He was more worried about the people. He prayed to Lord Muruga because he was a staunch devotee of Lord Muruga. He asked the Lord to help him so that he can serve his people henceforth as well. As answers to his prayers, Lord Muruga appeared in his dream and he said, asked Nalli Akodan to take a drench in a pond nearby the next morning. Just as the Lord told him, he took a drench in the pond nearby. He collected few lotuses. The Lord had instructed him to throw lotuses towards the direction from where his enemies were planning to launch an attack. And just as he threw the lotuses towards the direction where his enemy troops were waiting for him, the lotuses turned into a whale or the holy spear of Lord Muruga and the whale split itself into several spears and attacked the enemies. The enemies started to flee thinking Nalia Kodan had a lot of backup and of course the victory was on his side and Nalia Kodan was very happy that he could serve his people henceforth. And hence, The place where the spear split itself into several spears and attacked the enemies, that place took its name Velur or the place where Vel attacked the enemies. Here the poet says that Velur is a very hot place. 
but still it has its own special set of plants and animals. Now, the speciality of this particular place is Nilgai, a kind of deer whose meat is savoured by the people there. And so when guests arrive, women folks would serve them hot piping white rice, which is mixed with tamarind paste. And as a special gift or as a special serving, they would serve Nilgai meat as well. So moving forward, the poet says that they can stay there for the night and then proceed towards the next town, which is Amur. Amur Valamum Ulatiarin Ubasaripum. Narampungo de Turta Natsine Kurungal Kanji Kumber Eri Nilayaram Kuttam Noki Nidi the Irind Pulavakaya Ledta Punvai Manichiril Valugir Kilit the Vadu Al Pasade Mullare Tamare Mughal Viri Nat Podu Kunga cover near a Sengan Sevel Madise Ravin Manat Totrum Maradam Sandra Maradantan Pane Andana Raruha Arangadi Vianahat Amtan Kidangin Avan Amu Raidin Valampadanadakum, Valipuna Rerudin, Uran Kiluk known Pakatu Ulava Tangai, Pidikayana Pinivil Sirupurat, Torikai Magadu, Mahamurai Tadupa, Irungal Ulakai Irumbu Muham Taita, Avaipuman Arisi, Amalai Ven Sor, Tavaital Alavan, Kalavayod Pihuvir, the fertile Amur and the genial plowman. Like garlands strung tight with aromatic blooms, the stringo entwines the short leaved white teak. Where the lakes have amazingly still waters, mark the time. Like the sapphire mouth of fish out of waters, the citrons. With scars of nails that tore leaves, grainy fresh on thorny lotus that smiled as the sun rose. The male bee buzzing, blue flashes, its scarlet eyes savouring nectar. Much like the serpent gobbling the moon, farmlands of the richest grain of fertile nature. The town within of Brahmins who devotedly filled Reach those pretty cool trenches along with Amur. Notice those strong oxen with valorous hum strut alongside the farmer sisters with play thick like a pachyderm's trunk. Bangle arms that lovingly stop guests from leaving, pounded with the strongest polished pestle, finest white grains of rice cooked to perfection, served with crabs too mixed with care. We are entering Amur which is a place near Ulunur Pete of southern India. This place is known for its white rice, which is extremely tasty. And the poet says that whenever guests arrive, people who were mostly farmers in Amur had women folks rushing towards the guests and stopping them so that they can have their fill. The women folks of Amur never let their guests leave empty stomach. So. They used to serve them with white grain rice cooked and alongside a stew made out of crabs. The poet compares the thick lustrous hair of the women folks of Amur to the thick trunk of an elephant. And so he says that after having their fill, all that is left to do is to reach the palace of Naliyakodan. So you have to wait until we reach the palace gates in the next part. Thank you.